think our reaction was that the buildings would fall, and that's why we maintained under the pedestrian overpass, which is only about 100, maybe 150 yards from the first building. I don't think anybody was thinking the buildings might fall. We'd been told that these buildings were tested for a 707 and, and all of that. I mean, good grief. Of course we didn't think it was going to fall. The fire trucks and the cops were right under there. As that thing started to collapse, there was... When it began to come down, the, the as you've heard uh, Commissioner Safer indicate, the bomb squad was in, fire personnel, ambulance personnel had entered. About 15 minutes after they made their entry, uh, we heard a boom. I don't know if that was the infrastructure that was going or another explosion, and we looked up, and it, uh, you know, I, I can't even describe it. Um, it's not even like a movie. It was so surreal. It just came towering towards us. Um, it seemed in slow motion. We all just tried running. Um, unfortunately, many of those uh, emergency personnel were much closer to the building when the debris came. Um, we tried running to a building for cover. Uh, I took some injuries to the back of my head and my hands from some of the debris. Um, and then it, we were just in darkness. We initially thought that we were trapped under the building or under the debris because it was so dark. Uh, face, nose, mouth covered with not just soot, but the concrete um, from the building. That's what we were feeling.